Not all guns in Valorant were created equal, and it may surprise you to see how even weapons of different types match up against each other. Today we're going to take a look at three different guns, the Marshal, the Operator, and the Sheriff. What are the stats, how do you use them, when you should buy them, oh yeah, and also, how can a revolver compare to two sniper rifles? Today, we're going to hit all of that. To start things off, let's talk about what these guns have in common. There's a reason we've grouped the revolver with the two snipers. All three of these weapons are highly accurate, slow firing, semi-automatics with incredibly high damage output. When shooting with the Sheriff, players are going to want to give themselves a second in between each shot. The revolver has heavy recoil, and waiting for the weapon to reset is the right play if you want to hit anything. The Marshal is surprisingly accurate when hip firing. Players who try to fire the operator without the scope will need to be extraordinarily lucky to land a shot. Using the scope on either the marshal or the operator will give you pinpoint accuracy. Be careful when moving, as it will greatly lower your scoped accuracy. The marshal offers a 2.5x ADS zoom, while the operator gives you two options, 2.5 or 5x zoom, letting you really narrow down the shot. The sheriff, no scope. Due to the power of these guns, they have very limited bullet counts. The Sheriff only holds 30 shots, 6 in each cylinder, giving it the second lowest ammo count of the sidearms. The Marshal, just behind with a bullet count of 20, 5 per magazine, and the Operator boasts the second lowest bullet count of any gun in the game, with 15 also having 5 per magazine. While the Sheriff isn't as slow as the two snipers, it does have a very low rate of fire, shooting only 4 rounds per second. The Marshal has a small variance in its rate, shooting 1.5 rounds when unscoped and 1.2 per second while aiming down the sights. The Operator has the slowest rate of fire in the game, coming at 0.75 rounds a second. No Johns, these are the shots you gotta hit. Now let's dive into the power of these guns, starting with the snipers. Both of them can operate at any range without any kind of penalty. No drop off whatsoever. One shot headshots to anyone, regardless of their armor. The operators get a bit more oomph to it, one shotting anyone with 150 damage body shots and dealing a whopping 127 if you hit the leg. While the Marshal lags behind a bit with 101 body and 85 leg damage, it does have a slightly higher rate of fire. Unlike the snipers, the Sheriff does not possess universal range. That said, it's still incredibly devastating within its effective range of 30 meters. In this zone, it one-shot headshots even fully armored targets. Its non-headshot damage is also impressive for a Sardar, 55 to the body, 46 to the leg. When shooting beyond the 30 meter range, Sheriff users find themselves no longer getting that one-shot headshot. Its damage drops just below the threshold to 145. While the body and leg damage also drop slightly, you'll still remain in the 3 to 4 shot range to kill someone. Both the Sheriff and the Operator have high penetration, letting you get a bit more value out of your shots when trying to shoot through a wall. The Marshal only has medium pen, so while it still gets through the walls, it packs slightly less of a punch. So what about the money? Out of this punch, the Sheriff has the lowest cost of only 800 credits. The Marshal's not so far ahead at only 1100. The Operator, however, is the most expensive weapon in the game. 4,500 credits. You'll likely see sheriffs and marshals in the earlier stages of the game, where money and armor is scarce. You should also expect to see both these guns in eco rounds when you're trying to contend with enemy rifles due to their low cost. The operator, on the other hand, is a bit more uncommon as far as guns go. Whether you're winning or losing, you're going to need to save up for a couple of rounds to actually purchase one. Look for it by rounds 4 and 5. If you, or the enemy, dies with an operator, it's a safe bet you won't see one again for another couple of rounds. Since it's extremely expensive, if you see one on the ground, grab it. Even if you don't want it, a teammate probably does. If sniping isn't your forte and you're still looking to one-tap enemies a little closer, grab the Sheriff. But if you're confident in your aim you can land those faraway headshots, then go for the Marshal. And of course, sometimes you've got to put your bank account on it. If you're rich enough and want to completely lock down a long angle, then get yourself the operator. Just make sure to hit those shots. With the Sheriff and Marshal's low cost and high stopping power, and the operator's one shot, one kill policy, these are weapons every player should be familiar with. Whether you're clicking heads up close, or from one side of the map to the other, players with good control and patience will be rewarded. It's time to get out there, practice those flicks, and land those trick shots.